A live look right now inside the U.S. Senate chamber where the debt limit deal is now in the hands of the U.S. Senate. It passed the House last night in a 3 to 14 to 1 to 117 vote. Both party leaders are urging members to act quick, pass the bill, and avoid a catastrophic default. NBC's Bree Jackson is in the Senate's court with the latest. The bill is passed. And with that gavel, the debt limit agreement passes the House with overwhelming bipartisan support. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy taking a victory lap. This is the biggest cut and savings this Congress has ever voted for. Many hardline Republicans opposed the bill, but House Democrats helped push it through. In a statement, President Biden praised the House and urged the Senate to vote quickly, saying, the agreement is a bipartisan compromise. Neither side got everything it wanted. The hard-fought deal faces even more pushback in the upper chamber. This deal begs the question, with Republicans like these, who needs Democrats? This agreement is nowhere near as bad as the Republican original proposal, which would have been devastated. Uh, but I think for a variety of reasons, the no vote is right. Senator Shelley Moore Capito tells me she backs the bill. You have to look at this. Do you want a governor? Do you want to do you want to stay in a position where uh, you can't win? And, and I'd rather take the win. And this is a win. Others are on the fence. I got to go through all the details. Every time you turn over the rock, there's something else slimy under it. With the June 5th deadline looming, Congress must act fast in order to avoid a potentially catastrophic debt default. And some Senate Republicans have pledged to introduce amendments to this bill, which could delay its passage. But Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has already warned senators that they may have to stay through the weekend in order to get this measure passed. On Capitol Hill, Bree Jackson, NBC News.